In this video, I'm going to show you an easier and faster way on how to get a square root of a perfect square numbers. We're going to discuss how to get the answer in less than 3 seconds. To do this, you must know the squares all the way up to 9. I think most of you know this already. If not, then here's the list. 1 square is equal to 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64, 9 square is 81. Let us take note of the last digit of these squares because we're going to use them later on. Now, how will we get the answer of positive and negative 28 from the square root of 784 in just 3 seconds? First, look at its last digit which is 4. Now, look for the squares that ends with 4. We have 2 square and 8 square. So the answer either ends with 2 or with 8. Later, we, later, we'll discover what will we choose between these two. Second step, eliminate the last two digits of the given number. Now we only have 7. Look for a square that is closest to 7, which is less than that, or it can be 7 itself. The squares that are closest to 7 are 4 and 9. But since 9 is too much, we're going to use 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. That will be the first digit of our answer. Third, to identify which between 2 and 8 will be used as the last digit, we'll have to multiply 2 to the next number which is 3. We got 6. If 7 here is greater than the product 6, then we'll use the greater 1. So the answer is positive or negative 28. If in case 7 is less than the product, then we'll use the lesser number. Alright, now why does it have positive and negative anyway? It's because when you multiply positive 24 to itself, you'll have 784. As well as if you multiply negative 24 to itself, you will still be getting 784. Now let's try another example. You'll get used to it if you keep on practicing. Square root of 1,296. So the last digit is 6. Therefore, we'll use 4 and 6. Cross out the last two digits. Now we only have 12. Look for 12 or less than that in the list of squares. 16 is too much, so we may use 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Our first digit, therefore, is 3. Then multiply it to the next number, which is 4. And we got 12. Since 12 is not less than 12, then we'll use the higher number. Now we got positive and negative 36 as our answer. If you'll be able to master the steps, you'll get faster and faster. Let's try more. The square root of 2704. Last digit is 4, so we have 2 and 8 again. Cross out the last two digits, 0, 4. Now we have 27. 25 is the closest to 27. So 5 is our first digit. Again, multiply it to the next number, which is 6. We'll get 30. And 27 is lesser than 30. Therefore, it'll be positive and negative 52. Okay, try this one. Square root of 6,889. Last digit is 9. So we have 3 and 7. Cross out the last two digits. We got 68. And in the list, 64 is closest to it. Therefore, our first digit will be 8. 8 times 9 will have 72. And 68 is lesser than 72, so we'll use 3. Our answer then is positive and negative 83. Keep on practicing. Next, square root of 5625. Okay, the last digit is 5. And we only have one square number that ends with 5. So we do not have to choose later. Cross out the last two digits again. We now have 56. The closest number to 56 is 49. Therefore, the first digit is 7. Since we only have one option for the last digit, then we do not have to multiply 7 to 8. And so, the answer is positive and negative 75. 
Let's have square root of 2,209. The last digit is 9. So we have 3 and 7. Cross out these. And so we have 22. And the number closest to it, which is under 22, is 16. So we have 4 as the first digit. Multiply it to the next number, which is 5. We got 20. And since 22 is greater than 20, we'll use 7. The answer is positive and negative 47. Once you get used to it, you'll be able to get square root within 3 seconds. Next, square root of 3721. Last digit is 1, so we have 1 or 9. Cross out the last two digits, now we have 37. Closest to 37 is 36, so the first digit is 6. Multiply it to the next number 7, we'll have 42. Since 37 is lesser than 42, then the answer is positive and negative 61. And that's it. I hope you learned something today. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.